What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I am back with another Vikings reaction. I promised you guys that I would do two episodes of this over the weekend between Sunday, Monday, whatever the situation is. So I am here trying to record two more episodes today of Vikings and Rome also. So let's review what happened in the last episode so I don't waste any more time here. Um... Last episode, we have Ragnar returning home, um, telling the Earl about what happened, House and whatever his name is, telling him about them finding slaves, the monastery that they got the, all the gold from and stuff like that. And Harrelson is, oh my God, <laughs> I'm saying he decided like because of your disobedience i'm gonna take all this shit you will everybody that went only get to pick one piece of all this treasure right which i think is a pretty it's a dick move Let, let's just be honest about it it's just a dick move that he did and you know ragnar's chose to take the slave right one the priest that could speak their language Right, he chose to take him. So I don't know what Ragnar has planned. Hopefully, we find out in this episode what he has planned. Um, I don't know if he he must have some plan to move against the Earl because the Earl is an asshole. He killed a kid during this episode, which I did not like. Thirteen year old kid, and I think stuff like that is just dumb. Like common sense should tell you that that. I don't feel like uh I don't feel like any god. Oh if unless it's some evil god and they're they're trying to say that these are good gods, right? I don't think that there's any gods that would be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Like if they're good gods. But they're portraying them as good gods. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they protect us through the storms and this and that and whatever. But um if it's a sacrifice, why that kind of sacrifice? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just, why, I mean, you have so many grown men, you could have chose for that. You know what I'm saying? That would have probably said, hell yeah, because it's probably an honor. You get what I'm saying? But a child who has not really lived, they choked him out. I mean, and then that other guy, man, the guy that's like his right hand or whatever, like, He's another asshole I can't stand. This is this is face alone with his fat ass running around looking like freaking Winnie the Pooh. Anyways, um, so it's crazy to see what what is going to take place now, because now they're in trouble, because now, because it, it seems like Ragnar on the beach was trying to figure out what they were up to. The other guys, they were like, oh, it's a trap. Right? They were arguing that it's a trap. Which it very well could be. I can understand where their perspective was coming from. It's like, this can't be good. I mean, you're you're pretty much invading. You're invading. So, they can't be inviting you to come have a cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, oh, the, the other guys from from England or whatever... They were like, oh, let's just pay them and make them go away, you know. And that's why the dude took his thing off his neck and gave it to him. It was like, oh, because Ragnar told him. It was like, yo, the dudes are saying that we can't trust you. You know what I'm saying? So he took the thing off his neck, gave it to dude. Then crazy ass, what whatever his name is, he comes over, pull the freaking necklace from all the dude's neck everything starts to pop off from them because now it's like why are you so aggressive why are you taking the thing you know what i'm saying and that started the fight but one of them got away so what now you know what i'm saying lagertha is there um so i don't know how things are gonna go now because they're saying they're a peaceful people and this and that and whatever um but you know in every peaceful society you still gotta have orders and you still got to have rules. You got to have people to keep that order, which is, you get what I'm saying? So, we, I'm going to find out in this episode what 
what happens but this series man so far so good i'm trying to stay from a critical point of view um on these reactions because they're full reactions of the show and i'm trying to stay from a critical point of view to stay in fair use even though my videos are not on youtube you know what i'm saying i don't want to get a letter and then i can't defend myself because i'm trying to stay as critical as possible of the show so i have to like um talk about the show in a critical point of view seeing what they're doing right what they're doing wrong or what i think what my opinion of it is um so so i can't just talk about the entertainment aspects of the show i have to talk about i'm, I'm going to be changing this for all of my reactions now because i realize that i'm kind of not staying within fair use when it comes on to um criticizing the show as in i'm just enjoying it and it's good and it's whatever and talk about the storyline during the episode but i also need to talk about the critical aspects of it how it was you know um so i want to talk about the environment of viking so far the environment is very it, it looks good it looks very good the, the setting the sets that they're on is very very good it fits the time period somehow some way it just feels authentic you know what I'm saying? So they've captured that very well. I mean, it's on the freaking... Is it? It's on the History Channel, ain't it? Yeah. So, I mean, it would be sad if they didn't, right? Because they're the freaking History Channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, this is pretty cool, man. This, this series is pretty cool. I like it. The actors so far, I would say they fit in very well. I don't like Harrelson. I don't like him. Um... I think the, um, I don't know about, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to, to, to find something, but I can't, I can't find anything where I can criticize to the point where I can say, okay, that's, that was really bad. Like there's certain aspects of it. Like this is the part of the show that I don't get. And somebody talked about this in the comment section also is just like, dude, just let them speak their natural language. And I know it, it makes it easier for us to understand when they speak in English, but let them speak their natural language and let people read freaking subtitles. I'm telling you, there's so many shows that I've watched where it could be so much better if these people speak. It would be so much more authentic. You get what I'm saying? Because they were speaking a language on the beach and I was like, why the hell don't they speak English? They've been speaking English all this time. I thought that was their freaking native language. Because I'm like, if if the Norse has a language, let them speak the freaking language. Don't, you get what I'm saying? It would be so much more authentic if you had them speak the Norse language and we have subtitles. And then when they go to England, they speak freaking English, which they're supposed to speak. If you had plans for the whole season, right? If you had plans for the whole season and that's what you were planning to make the English speak English, now they're coming over and the dialogue make it seem like this whole time make it seem like that's the native language, which is English, to the Vikings and it's actually not. Because remember, when Ragnar was talking to the priest, it's like, you speak our language? And and I thought it was English he was talking about, but apparently it's not. So now I'm a little bit confused. So if I had anything to say about the show um, critically in that sense, that's where I would go at this point. I think they should have went with them speaking the, the native Norse language that they were speaking on the beach that the Englishman did not understand. So I think that's where they dropped the ball a bit. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So great, great um, things are coming and I'm looking forward to it. So that's not to diminish the series in any way. What I just talked about is just from a critical standpoint, I think they could have done better in that situation. There's nothing wrong. People will read subtitles. If your series is good, they will read subtitles. You get what I'm saying? It's just like in Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, you have, we know that there's many languages that people speak. And when, you get what I'm saying? Just like how um, you have the Valerian language, you have the Dothraki language, and they speak this stuff. Yes, 
they translate it into English for us to understand and there's subtitles or if it's in a situation where somebody gonna say it after like when like um like when Daenerys was in um when she was in um I, I, oh my god I can't even remember the damn place the place with the freaking pyramids god damn it I can't remember the name of the place um and she was on the throne and Missandei had to translate for her. You get what I'm saying? So, it's you can use language pretty good in shows. Is the, you know people will understand. So they didn't have to go this route because it makes it a bit confusing. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's still a pretty, pretty great show. I love I love the show so far. Three episodes in, and I'm dying to see what happens next. So let's go and see what happens next. So I see you guys for the reaction, full reaction. Go ahead and watch that and then come back here and support you guy and watch the review. Okay? So thank you guys for watching as always. See you guys for the review. All right, we are here once again with a review for viking yesterday i was i was out of energy so today i'm full of energy recording this review here and man did i did i jump to conclusion about rollo i have to talk about that you know what i'm saying so i jumped to conclusion about him before he had take before he said what he had to say so my apologies to rollo you have definitely you went down and then you went up in my book. <laughs> okay. So um definitely, definitely enjoying this series, man. It's it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. Um, just the setting alone, man. Just enjoying them. The story aspect of it is is extremely interesting, intriguing. Um, um there's obviously they're establishing the Earl as the bad guy um here in season one um and it looks like ragnar is getting ready to go after him so i'm i'm down i'm ready to see that um what that battle is going to be like so let's talk about this episode this episode was basically a continuation of what what going to happen when they went to that other place that name is too damn hard what is it exum i think it's exum they call it exum mm -hmm. the place they went to with king King Ailey, King Ailey, <laughs> right? That's his name, right? King Ailey, yeah. So they went there. They chose to attack while everybody was at church on Sunday morning when the bells rang. Um, they attacked. Uh, I knew Canute was gonna get killed. Like, who didn't think he was gonna get killed on this mission? He was trying to bring back report of. How are they navigating the sea so he can go tell the Earl so the Earl can can strong arm um strong arm Ragnar into getting the sundial, which is um wasn't gonna happen. So I didn't expect that to happen. But Knut tried to rape one of the girls over there in Exum and dude um, Lagertha came in and saw it, tried to stop it, and that wasn't, it wasn't going to go down like that. So Lagertha told him to get off. He didn't get off, so she was trying to get him off by force. Um, she got pushed around, got kind of knocked, knocked out a little bit, and then he was going to try to rape Lagertha, and Lagertha wasn't having it. We know that Lagertha is that, she is that girl, man. She a badass bitch. Let's let's just put it out there. She is a badass bitch, okay? She don't take no shit from nobody, not even her husband. She was in there practically beating up <laughs> beating up Ragnar in that in that scene where they were fighting cuz she wanted to go and he was like, "Nah, you can't go." So um even though we all know that Ragnar was holding back, he wasn't really fighting her. You know what I'm saying? So, but she's badass. We saw that from, like, I think it was, like, in the first episodes when them two guys came um, to rob her and rape her. 
and she was like, you can touch me in a thousand years. You know what I'm saying? And she just manhandled them and they had to run run away. So much respect to, to Lagertha, man. She's that girl. Um, she stabbed Knut, killed him, and she told Ragnar that, hey, he tried to rape a girl and then he tried to rape me. So I killed him. So um, they left, went to the beach, the soldiers that the king sent. Um, where they're waiting on them, and they took care of business. I think they lost about three three guys. They lost about three guys um, during that fight. They and then um, they went home. Um, so I don't know what King Ale planning to do after this. He was pissed because he was like, "Don't they bleed like us? We're all human. What do you mean?" <laughs> They were just better fighters, bro. What do you want me to say? You know what I mean? So that was pretty interesting to see, man. And then they went home. And then the bullshit started happening. Him welcoming them, the Earl, welcoming them with open arms and just calling, calling Ragnar his friend and whatever. I was like, yeah, right, friend. You just want you just want the spoils. You just want to know stuff. Where's where's Knut? Now, Knut's dead, bruh. <laughs> and then Ragnar told him. Ragnar told him what happened, but he took, he took, like he said, I killed him because he tried to rape my wife. They arrested him. Um, they were going to throw down, but dude warned them. I was like, how many men do the Earl have? Like, I mean, I mean, I guess you could talk about the rest of the people, the rest of the guys that are there. Maybe they'll protect the Earl. It's like, oh, this man. So they had the trial, you know, they're going to have the trial, whatever. Where the whole community can be there. Like the um, I think it was in episode one when they killed that guy. Cause he wanted the land or whatever. Um, so it's crazy. It's crazy, man, how this Earl is just trying so hard to hold on to power. Cause nobody really respects him to you know what I'm saying? They just oh, he's the Earl, so I guess we cool. You know what I'm saying? He tried to to turn Rolo, but he thought he had him. I thought I I really did think that Rolo was gonna was was gonna roll <laughs> on Ragnar, but he didn't. Um, so props out to him again, man. I apologize for jumping to conclusion there. Um, before he had what he said, what he had to say, because I thought he got turned because that scene was very pivotal that they showed there when he, when um the Earl was trying to 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 turn him against Ragnar, you know, even brought his daughter out and was like, dude, you can get the daughter, you know what I'm saying, if you, if, if you help me get Ragnar out of the picture, you know what I'm saying, but Rolo didn't go for that, and I, and we all know he didn't do it for, for Ragnar, he did it because he's in love with Lagertha, so I think from that end of the scene, because I was saying, you know, it's probably not even love, you know, but it seems like it is love, from that last scene that they had together where she was talking to him and was like, thank you for doing that and whatever. So he was like, I didn't do it for Ragnar. I did it for you. Shield maiden. You know what I mean? So definitely, man, that was pretty dope um, what he did. So we have Ragnar. Is, he's pissed because they attacked him at the party. He sent men to attack them at the party, which I think is very low of him the earl it's obvious that it's the earl who else gonna send people to a party to kill people and then they piled up all the, bo the bodies there it was like oh let me go see what the result is uh mr piggy came over there to see um right and saw all the bodies piled up outside it was like dude this is ragnar's gang we talking about them dudes don't play around they took out dudes over there like they were nothing like they they were outnumbered at least two to one in that fight and they only lost three guys like so you know they got moves <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um so i'm definitely definitely loving the series this episode man the scenery very good scenery very good i i love all the boat scenes and stuff like that the ship scenes and stuff like that it looks so authentic um if you guys know where this series was shot please put it in the comment section don't tell me where it's shot don't tell me anything story-wise 
just tell me where in the world this was shot because i'm pretty sure you guys probably know the vikings lovers out there um where in the world because a lot of this stuff is is um shot in europe a lot of these series like game of thrones um shows like this that has that me medieval feel um they're shot in europe but the scenery cinematography was very good in this episode i loved it everything flowed well the acting super super good in this episode man I, it didn't lose a beat the pacing absolutely amazing so thank you guys man for watching with me um going over wherever it is um and watching this with me man i highly 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 appreciate it thank you guys for watching as always don't forget to leave a like on this video leave a comment also i'm begging you guys to start interacting with these videos we need more people watching these videos if you do not interact on the videos the youtube algorithm don't pick it up and send it out to other people who have watched vikings reactions in the past they can come and enjoy the series again if they love it that much or new people can have a chance to come in and watch this with me you guys already know who it is and i know who you are you are the terror squad and i am thereby reacts see you next time Peace.